We're back! It's like we didn't go anywhere. Or we're just wearing the same clothes we've been wearing for ages. Who knows? With these, <laughs> who knows in these times oh, what, well, what's well. happening? The world's gone mad. Um, so this is the penultimate episode of the season. I'm going to go through the step over choke from side control. Quite a simple choke if you've got that head and arm control and you create a bit of distance. It's quite a easy choke to find. I'm just going to look at some of the mechanics of actually finishing it. Going with the same theme we have for the rest of the season of the logic of creating a, a V structure and then making someone look into it instead of just putting pressure into the windpipe or creating neck cranking situations on the side of the neck. So the step over jump as shown. Again, it doesn't necessarily matter what you're holding on to here. You can hold on to the back of the collar. My personal preference is this bad boy. I prefer this control anyway. Whatever I'm doing in the gi, this is always out. This is always controlling someone. Just because if they want to like, turn in towards me, it limits that because I'm putting pressure into the shoulder. So, again, I don't want to create too much pressure on the side of his neck. So I'm going to manipulate it so I'm, my grip isn't that far through. It's quite loose. I can then step over and I'm going to use my calf to make him lock into the grip here. And I can lean in. I've got my choke. Such a brutal little choke. It just comes out of nowhere. Yes. Again, if, it's too, if I was too far in, when I create this, it's just putting pressure to the back of his spine. Now. There's no point in doing that. Again, if I have like this grip the collar here, and I try to do it, I'm just going to put in my wrist, or it's actually creating the, the contact. This is the back of his neck. And it's just going to be cranking in his neck around. It's not what I'm after. That's why I first showed it with this. Because I'm going to get the tail end here. Make sure my wrist is sitting in front of his neck. And there's just that fine little bit of making him look into it. Simple as that. So I'll show you now from the, just the other angle. Here, there we go. So I have hold the collar. Again, I don't want to be too far around. Because you can see my elbow there, it's really embedded into his neck. It's quite a loose one here, just so the... the contact point I can ensure hits this part of his neck. A step and I just use my, my calf and my foot just to make him look into that choke. So I've got a, it's not a mean choke, it's very fast. Same as what we covered in the in some of the Nogi episodes that we did on the previous season. Um, and with the, the earlier episodes in this season. It's not about crunching the side of the neck. It's not about um, just barring someone's windpipe and damaging that. You know when that's happened, you know, you can, you, how many times you read on, on Facebook or forums, etc., where someone's complaining about their windpipe and they can't uh, breathe or, or swallow or whatever. Talk. Um, yeah, talk. Just said talk. Um, <laughs> not swallow. <laughs> <laughs> Um. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> um, yeah, so they damage their windpipe and they find it hard to, to, to use their throat. And that's not what we want, that means that they've been wrong because they're just, their act is totally off and they're just damaging the windpipe. Yeah. Stuff like that there, I'm looking at just perfecting my own accuracy, so it's always hitting this part of the throat. So the last episode then we're going to cover next in a few minutes time, so please come back for that is the clock choke slash uh, helicopter tornado people have got numerous names for it but it's the one that looks really cool and usually gets loads of views on youtube so <laughs> thank you for your time uh, and that's coming up next thank you for watching that video wherever the hell it was about um please like it share it subscribe to the channel if there's a bell icon it should be on this side uh please click on that uh if you want to get notifications for any new videos i make if there are other videos around my head someplace Please click on those for more techniques. And in the description is a link to my Patreon if you want to support the channel in any way. So thank you for your time.